another great instructional video here inside E3 Strength. My name is Earl, and we're gonna be going over the exercises found in the PDF in the description below that you guys can use to burn fat and build muscle at home. Join me as we go through these exercises. Your warm up is a half kneeling anterior reach. This is your half kneeling position. Anterior reach just means up. Rotate to whichever leg is forward. So if we have the left leg forward, we're rotating left. If you have your right leg forward, rotate right. You're gonna do each one for the time or reps listed. Your first super set of exercises is gonna be a pause squat and a bent arm plank. The bent arm plank is very straightforward. The pause squat, we're gonna ask you guys to use the number of reps that you're on for the number of seconds you're going to pause at the bottom. What does that mean? Let me try and show you. Rep one, we're gonna hold for a one count, one Mississippi, back up. Number two, one, two, back up so on and so forth, all the way to 10 reps. So on your 10th one, hold for 10. The bent arm plank, down in a hand plank position. You're gonna go halfway down into a push-up and freeze. Now I know what you're thinking already, I can't do a push-up. It's gravity, you're just going down, anybody can do it. But if you need to try it on your knees first, you're more than welcome. Go halfway down, and remember, squeeze your elbows into your body, it's gonna give you a base to support, and also activate more muscles so that you can get more out of this exercise. Your next super set of exercises is going to be a push-up with a side kick through, followed by a speed skater. So the push-up with side kick through is just five reps, so only five push-ups, not five side to side. So watch if you do the kick through, push up, kick through. Now if you want to do the modified version, very easy, very similar. When you get to the top of the modified position, throw the knees up, kick through, and then drop back down. The speed skater is gonna go side to side. The hardest part is really just getting this thing started. So start over to one side, you're gonna hop, cross over, touch the inside heel, that way you include activation here. And same to the other side. We're just gonna do 10 reps. Make sure you're going one, one, two, two on your count. And that's gonna give you the most out of that exercise. Your last giant set of exercises is three moves for your core. They kind of build off each other. The first one's a mountain climber. You might remember it from last week. It was your finisher for a minute and a half. Today is only 30 seconds. Down on the hands. Just like that. You're gonna go from there to a static crab position where you flip over and try to keep your hips as high as you possibly can. If you have tight hamstrings like me, this is all you got. Now play with your hand position to help support the wrists and also the shoulders. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna use the same two positions you were just in to develop a bear roll. So this is your bear position. We're gonna roll in and out of it. And that's called a bear roll. Each of these you're gonna be doing for the time listed, which is 30 seconds. The very last thing you have, your finisher today, is a plank extension with knee tuck. Now, you're not gonna find this in the PDF, but what we want you to try and do is to do this the same way you do your squats. You're gonna do the same number of knee tucks for the number of reps that you're on. Again, I'll show you what I mean. You're down, here's your plank extension. You're gonna drop to a forearm plank, hands down, extend upward, doing a tricep extension. Do one knee tuck for rep one. One, then back down. Do your second one. One, one, two, two. And again for number three. One, one, two, two, three, three. So it's only five reps, but I'm already exhausted. So it's gonna be very effective. We hope that this workout's been beneficial and you guys enjoy it. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns that you have, please reach out to us at info at e3strength.com and let us know how we can help you guys in the future. Thanks.